Hi everybody to this second clip of the series stay at home coaching clips um, today I'm gonna follow up on, on the last video where we talked about quick passing game out of 2x2 two two. and today we're gonna talk about some basic quick passing game out of 3x1 in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. I think it's um, very important that when we talk 3 by one quick passing game that everything from a quarterback's idea starts at the single receiver. This is also what we like to call a gift route. So we are in 3 by one and we will talk quick passing game. There is two routes that I prefer um, here on the quick passing on the single receiver. The one is a six um, yard stop and the other one is a so-called four step out. So these two routes are great single uh, receiver quick game routes that the quarterback should consider as a gift. What does that mean? It means that if the cornerback and the next defender to the inside are further away than five yards, maybe six yards, he can consider this a gift and take this single receiver every time. And um, there is some discipline involved in it from the quarterback perspective. Yes, sometimes we hit this hitch or the out three, four times in a row or three, four times within one drive. But if um, the defense is uh, reacting, maybe putting this outside linebacker further outside or, and this is what then mostly happens, putting a safety in a better position to help out this cornerback over top so the cornerback can play much more aggressive even from a um, five, six yard alignment. We have to keep an eye on this safety. The further he widens, his alignment, the more he's ready and communicating to the cornerback, I got your back deep so you can play more aggressive. We have to be very careful on this. So if this is the case and we do not like the gift side so much, I will start over here with a double stick concept. And it's, it's, it's not really a double stick, it's more A sit route and then an, and a four step out route. And what we are doing here is we are isolating. If we have a Will linebacker here, a Mike linebacker somewhere here, then usually in between two and three, we find another linebacker and we are basically playing a game with him. So in most zone defenses, if they are aligned like this, um, uh, this uh, same defender has so-called area two to cover and therefore he is moving out. So we like to curl up against this look quite tightly in here and throw a ball very tight um, right here and then have uh, what we call a tight turn by the wide receiver <clears throat> when he catches it that he gets upfield vertical in a hurry so he catches the ball right here then he will basically be chased from the outside and what's very important also from the inside um, and then turn up so if we run this a lot this Mike linebacker will move out further and further and that's why I still like the outside turn better than the inside turn because on the inside turn this uh, the defender has a if you look at the ball flight, a direct um, path to disrupt the ball. If you turn outside, it's more like a post-up move uh, in basketball where we have our back, our big side, um, as a shield against this guy. Now, of course, as we read the Sam, our quarterback must have uh, eyes on him because if this Sam sits hard on this number three, um, receiver of course we must hit this uh, number two out this doesn't happen too often but it's very important the more often we hit here number three the more aggressive this Sam linebacker will play on number three and therefore this happens that this comes up late that this comes up late 
And then of course, um, if this happens uh, more frequently, all of a sudden the cornerback can get involved here. So if they take away number three with the same linebacker and we have to cancel this out, basically now it becomes a, a, a regular fade out read on the cornerback um, against this number two and number one wide receiver here. And this is something we don't like that much because if this cornerback drives the out route by number two hard, we have a hell of a long throw to get to this cover two to the field side, to get to this cover two to the field side. So one answer could be if the defense is hugging up number three very aggressively to change these routes up. And you will see here with an, another um, concept that, that works great, maybe as an, an answer to this. So again, we are in three by one. And now we already have this Sam linebacker tighter on number three and this cornerback maybe a little tighter here. And we have the safety up top here. So what I kind of like to do here is to just change from outs to ins. What does that mean? Well, we're going to run a shield route right up here. He's basically setting uh, a shield right through the middle. We're going to run a five in so that the mic cannot push. We will basically try to shield off <clears throat> this same linebacker here. And now we run our vertical stem at five and then a five in. Very important to get this five in and not a, a slant route in my opinion because the slant can be driven much harder by the cornerback. But if we get this vertical and vertical here for these two defenders until five yards, this screams like it is four verticals or three verticals on this side and this will get them to back off slightly and then we snatch it off. So what we have done here the aggressive way of the Sam playing number three just by an alignment, we have kind of um, replaced or taken advantage of and now we will hit this route. Again, you see it's a very similar spot that we attack on the field, but we attack it uh, from a different uh, angle with a different player. So I think this out concept and the in concept on three by one uh, fit to, together quite well. Um, I also want to show you um, something that might not be considered really a quick passing game. It's more intermediate and it's a it's, um, uh, snack game. Um, we see this quite a bit uh, in, in several uh, teams uh, across the world actually. It's just a great concept where you have a lot of uh, answers and I will just um, draw the routes and you will see we do here have we do here have the um, running back involved okay so what we will do we will start this is a boundary read first okay and there is usually a wheel linebacker somewhere. There's a cornerback and let's say we sit in a too high defense. And this wheel linebacker we read as a first read. And this wheel linebacker has to um, <clears throat> decide whether he wants to go out with the swing rod of the tailback or whether he will uh, want to sit uh, on this uh, sit route here by number one. And uh, then there will be another um, defender somewhere in the box. And um, we have to keep uh, especially an eye fix on this guy because this is the plus defender who could actually um, destroy the picture here. How? Well, um, they could have a communication where the wheel pushes out wide. That would mean for the quarterback that the sit route is open. But if this Mike linebacker also pushes uh, to this side, now we have the uh, swing <coughs> and the sit covered. And this is basically when we can come to this number three receiver from the backside. If the Sam is sitting on him hard, we will find a great window. If the safety is driving this hard, we have this in the back. Well, 10 minutes are almost over. That was a little quick to finish with. I hope you enjoyed 3 by one quick passing game.